Toronto. Ducks versus Utes, Pac-12 matchup. The last of three home matches for the Ducks this season. Oregon gonna start with the serve on the right side of the net, serving to the left side. Utes on the left side of the net. Receiving and attacking to the right. Anna Pukas, the setter, gets the serve, and we're underway here at Matthew Knight Arena. Received by Johnson in the back line. Walgren sets left side. Gabadlo to the back line. Dug out by Collier. Pukas sets Lewis right side. And got popped in the air, and then Kara McGee cleaned it up and gets the kill. And there's Kara McGee making an impact off the first play of the game. Showing why she should be starting today. one nothing Oregon, and right away we're seeing Kara McGee get in on the action. Pukas propels it across. Johnson receives it. Walgren sets left side. Gabadlo roll shot to the back line. Dug out by Collier. Pukas in the middle. McGee taps it across. Diving dig by Ramirez. Given across on a free ball by Gabadlo. Pukas backs at right side. Lewis launches off the hands of the diving. Johnson out of bounds. It goes. And the Ducks take an early 2 0 lead. Morgan Lewis just buries that ball into the back left corner. Really nice placement from her, able to get the point for Oregon. 2-0, Oregon leading. Here's Anna Pukas, the lefty. Lofts it across, Johnson receives it. Walgren sets left side, Gabadlo pushes to the back line. Diving dig by Murphy. Pukas backs it right side. Lewis lasers it to the back line for the kill. Awesome dig there for Murphy, able to keep that ball up and alive. And Oregon's offense is able to capitalize off of that as they pick up another point. The score is three to zero. The Ducks have the lead. Heck of a run to start for Oregon. Pukas. Skies it across. Johnson receives it once again. Ramirez will set to Gabadlo at the attack line. Low swing. Collier tried to dig it up, but it got over the net, off the hands of Collier, and sent out of bounds. 3-1 as the Utes get on the board, and we're starting to see a heavy dose of Cameron Gabadlo. The freshman from Cave Creek, Arizona. Been fed a lot already. Three swings for her. And here's Ali Olsen, the middle blocker for Utah. Palms it across, and it's an ace. Right away, we're seeing the serving for Utah pay off. Absolutely, Utah picks up the ace there. The score is now four to two. Utah trying to get back in this game early. Three two it is, Oregon with a one point lead. Wilson watches, Collier tried to receive it and it heads out of bounds, it's another ace. Another ace for Utah. Tying the game up there early in this first set. Really nice serving from the Utes. Back-to-back -back aces for Ali Olsen. Came in with 20 aces on the season to 40 service errors. Gets two more up to 22 as Olsen launches it across. Murphy receives, Pukas in the middle. McGee slams it down and gets the kill. Another great play there from Kara McGee jumping up and bombing that ball down to the front right of Utah's territory. Coming away with the point for Oregon. McGee two for two on her swings. Oregon back on top, 4-3 the score. Gabby Gonzalez to the service line. The Ohio State transfer launches it across. Walgren sets in the middle, and the first swing from Emery Satuala is good. Down the near sideline, the transfer from Idaho State gets on the board. Satuala slams that ball down. Oregon can't react in time, and Utah picks up another point. The score is 4-4. Four four. We're tied up once again. Emily Smith, the fifth year from Park City, Utah, to the service line. Brings it across. Collier receives it. Puka sets in the middle. McGee misses it to the floor. Kara McGee bombs that ball down. She's having a great start to this game. Picking up right where she left off. 5-4. Oregon retakes the lead. The libero, Georgia Murphy, heads to the service line. On the near side of the floor, Murphy takes a breath. And soars it across. Received by Gabadlo. Walgren backs that right side. Satuala blocked back. Saved by the Utes. Ramirez sets left side. Gabadlo rips it off the blockers. Diving dig by Gonzalez. Pukas to the left side. Collier rips it. And Smith pops it in the air. Ramirez to the left side. Gabadlo. Tough hit. Gonzalez dives. Murphy dives and can't save it. The Utes get back on the board and we're even through 10 serves, 5 to 5. Great effort there from Gonzalez. That was her second diving dig of that rally, trying to keep that ball alive. But Utah comes away with it there. Cameron Gabadlo to the service line. Even we are. Gabadlo leading the Utes with two kills so far in the early going. Gabadlo gives it across. Collier receives it. Pukas backs that right side. Lewis lasers it. Gabadlo an overpass on the dig. Bacon took a swing back on the side of Oregon. Collier left side off the blockers. Popped in the air by Gabadlo. 
Ramirez will bump set it to the left side. A strong hit from Jardine, and it misses wide. Oregon gets the point on the attack here from Laura Jardine, the leader of this Utah Utes team, and Oregon leads 6-5. to five. Another great rally there from both teams. Oregon's able to pull away at the end. Jardine just hits it over that back line by about a foot. Just the first swing for Lauren Jardine, who leads the team in kills per set, the transfer from Wisconsin. Here's Kate Feeble. Lines it across, received in the back line, Bailey. Walgren sets left side, a swing from Jardine, blocked back, saved by Jardine. Short hit from Walgren, and Oregon gets the point. No, they're gonna say Utah gets the point. I believe they said Oregon hit the netting. A great block there from Oregon. Utah's able to recover, and they're saying Oregon hit the netting there. Utah picks up the point, the score is six to six. Ramirez to serve for Utah, the libero. Lines it across, Thiebault receives it, Puka sets left side, call your clobbers it off the blockers, Bailey popped it up, Ramirez sets left side, Jardine hits it far side, cross court, too strong, another attack here for Jardine, and Oregon leads by one once again, seven to six. Another long hit there from Jardine. We're seeing some long rallies here early in the first set. Both teams looking to prevail here. Mimi Collier. Catapults it off the top tape. Overpass on the reception from Smith. Bacon took a swing, blocked back. Saved by Murphy, left side. Gonzalez rips it cross court. Too far. Attack here for the Ducks, and it's seven to seven. Gonzalez rocketed that ball just out of bounds on the right sideline. Utah picks up the point. We're tied up once again. Victoria Walgren, the Canadian from Burlington, Ontario. Belts it across, Thiebault receives it, it's an overpass, tapped down in the Utes lead. This time it's Ali Olsen with the kill. Awesome play there from Ali Olsen. That ball goes right over the net and she slams it back down into Oregon territory, picks up the point for the Utes. Eight to seven, Utah leading. And 15 serves, Walgren wallops it across, Murphy receives it. Puka sets left side, Gonzalez taps it across, popped in the air by Walgren. Ramirez will set left side, Jardine a tap across, diving play by Feeble. Puka to the left side, Gonzalez cross court, Ramirez got it up, then it went over the net, Gonzalez took a rip at it, now Walgren sets left side, Jardine a swing, blocked back by Oregon. Walgren sets left side, Jardine taps it across, pancake dig, tapped across, and no, they're gonna say Utah gets the point and then it hit the ground. What a rally there from both teams. Utah showing so much effort there, keeping that ball alive on numerous occasions there, and they come away with the point. What a rally overall. 9-7, Utah leading by two. Waldron knuckles it across. Murphy receives it. Pukas in the middle. Bacon, a far launch swing that goes wide. And Utah leads by three. That was a nice play there from Oregon's offense. Bacon hammers that ball just slightly out of bounds, and Utah gets the point. 4-0 run for Utah. Walgren skies it across. Thiebault trouble with the reception. Wow, what a kill from Anna Pukis. Behind the back, the setter gets it done. Anna Pukis hits that ball behind the back, confusing the defense from Utah, and she comes away with the point for Oregon. No a kill for the setter. Came in averaging a little under a kill per set. Gets one here as Elise Ferreira checks in, fires it off the top tape. Received by Van Werf in the middle. Olsen taps it across, dug out by Gonzalez. Pukas back set right side. McGee missiles it to the floor. And Oregon, it's back to back points to bring it within one, 10 to nine. Awesome set there from Hannah Pukas. Hits it behind her to Kara McGee who just missiles that ball down. There's nothing Utah can do about it. Ferreira from Bakersfield, California. Skies it across. Received by Bailey, an overpass on the reception. Gonzalez hit it back off of Jardine, off the netting, and falls to the floor. And we're even 10 to 10 off of a 3-0 run for Oregon. What a play there for Gabby Gonzalez. Jumps up, slams that ball from the left side to the right side of Utah's territory and gets the point. Elise Ferreira. Lines it across, Bailey receives it, Walgren near the net, sets left side, and Walgren went into the netting. Oregon gets the point, and just like that, a 4-0 run for the Ducks, puts them in, top, in front by one. Oregon going on this long run and takes control back of this first set.
rips it across too far. And we're even, 11 to 11. Tied up once again. Lauren Jardine, the transfer from Wisconsin, won the national championship with Wisconsin in 2021, transferred to Utah last season, and leads the Utes in kills per set. Sets this one into the netting. A service air for the Utes gives Oregon the lead and possession, 12 to 11. Oregon gets the ball right back. This has been such a back and forth first set. Both teams trying to pull ahead here and get the victory. Anna Pukas at the service line was there when Oregon went on their early run to start the match. Propels it across. Johnson receives it. Walgren backs that right side. Vanderwerf cross court gets the corner kill. Really nice placement there from Vanderwerf jumping up and slamming that ball into the back left corner of Oregon's territory, coming away with the point for the Utes. We're even right now. 12 to 12 here in set number one. Ali Olsen. Bombs it across, too far to the right side. Service here for the Utes, their second of the set. Gives Oregon the lead once again, 13 to 12. We've been back and forth here the last couple points. Let's see who takes control of the possession and gets a little run. Gabby Gonzalez, bouncing the ball, charges the line, soars it across. Johnson receives it, Walgren sets right side. Vanderwerf cross court, a little bit too far. Attack here from Vanderwerf, the former middle blocker. And Oregon up by two, 14 to 12. Another nice shot there from Vanderwerf. That one just barely out of bounds off the left sideline. Gonzalez launches it too far. Service air for the Ducks, 14-13. Back and forth we go. Neither team able to pull ahead at the middle portion of this first set. Two service airs for each team. Back and forth we go. Here's Emily Smith. Takes a breath. Springs it across. Gonzalez receives. Pukas backs that right side. Lewis lasers it to the center of the floor for the kill. Another nice play there from Morgan Lewis trying to put the Ducks ahead in this first set. We got a timeout by Utah. Looking to talk things over as Oregon takes the two-point lead. 15-13, Oregon leading as we head to the media timeout. And right now, leading the Ducks in kills, Kara McGee once again. Kara McGee is absolutely killing it right now. She has four kills so far in this match. And she's just completely destroying from the first play up to this point right here. Kara McGee's left her mark off. Again, 48 kills in the last four matches while hitting 540 for Kara McGee. 15-13 after the media timeout. Georgia Murphy on the near side, the libero, serving it for Oregon with the Ducks leading by two here in the first set. Murphy missiles it across. Johnson pops it in the air. Set from Gabadlo and then given a cross and a free ball from Smith. To the right side, Lewis off the hands of Ramirez gets the kill. Morgan Lewis buries that ball into Utah territory. Oregon comes right out of that timeout and is quick to pick up the first point. Ducks lead by three, 16-13. Georgia Murphy propels it across. Low reception, Johnson, Ramirez will set left side to bad low, cross court, dug out by Murphy. Bukas backs at right side, Lewis taps it across, Walgren pops it up, Johnson bump sets it to the bad low, the left side, Wolf shot. Collier got her hands on it to the right side, Lewis taps it across, Ramirez digs it out, Walgren to the middle, Satuala tapped it over, dug out by Lewis, they give it right back to Lewis, right side, and she's blocked back. Gabadlo as well as Satuala in on the block. Really nice rally there from both teams, they seem to be going to Gabadlo a lot here, she had two swings there, just in that rally alone, good defense from Oregon, but Utah's able to slam that ball back down to Oregon territory. 16-14. 30 serves. Gabadlo fires it across. Gonzalez, trouble with the reception, heading to the bench, and Murphy slides in there, an awkward play, and she can't save it. The Utes get another ace, and it's 16-15. Nice effort there from Georgia Murphy, diving into the Oregon's bench, trying to keep that play alive, but Utah comes away with the point. 16-15, first ace for Gabadlo, came in with 14. Launches it over, Gonzalez trouble with the reception again. Collier can't save it, back-to-back -back aces for the Utes. Another ace for Utah, and we're tied up here once again in this first set. We've been so back and forth, neither team can really pull ahead. 
Four aces now for Yutza. Badlow gives it across. Collier receives it. Puka sets in the middle. Bacon through the trees. And no, they say she did not connect with the middle blocker. Utah gets the point and they lead 17 16. And Matt Omer may be challenging this one. I believe we are going to get a challenge here. So as it stands, 17 16. Utah with the lead on a 4 0 run. Yet another 4 0 run for the Utes. And I think what it is, it's those two service aces for Utah. That really shifts the momentum in their favor. That's half the points of this run that they've been on. And they're just completely, they've shifted that momentum and they're leading in this first set now. Both times Utah has been able to go on a 4-0 run. He's able to pull ahead. Three service errors for each squad here in the opening set. Oregon leads by one, 18-17. Collier catapults it across, Bailey. Tough reception, Walgren sets left side, Jardine rockets it off the block, popped in the air, Collier. Lucas in the middle, bacon through the trees, popped in the air by Bailey. Walgren sets left side, Jardine pushes across for the whistle beforehand, and they say a double touch on Utah, and Oregon leads by two. Oregon's up by two once again, and we got Mimi Collier on the service line. Let's see if she can keep this lead for the Ducks. Collier, palms it into the netting. Another service error for Oregon, their fourth, and it's 1918. There's another service error for the Ducks. They're going to really have to clean this up if they want to take this win in the first set. 17 through the first two sets on Sunday against Washington. Struggling again here today as Walgren lines it off the top tape. Another ace for Utah. Another ace for Utah, and that's been the story in this first set. Utah just completely killing Oregon off the serve. Utah hitting just 182, but even with Oregon, 19-19. Walgren wallops it across. Vibolt, trouble with the reception. It's an overpass. Joust at the net, won by Utah, and then slamming it down is Ali Olsen, and the Utes lead. Huge play there for Ali Olsen, slamming that ball right into the middle of the court, and there's no ducks there to receive that ball. The score is now 20 to 19. My apologies, they gave the point to Oregon and Oregon gets the point. Really? Ferreira fires it across, popped in the air by Bailey. Walgren backs that right side. Vanderwerf blocked back and it heads to the near side, out of bounds. And now we're even 20 to 20. Nice block there from Gabby Gonzalez, but unable to place that ball in bounds. It goes just out of bounds off that left sideline and we're all tied up once again. I think right now, if you're Oregon, probably shocked. No block so far for the first 40 serves of this match. Jardine soars it across, it's an ace. Utah leads by one, their fifth ace of the set, rather sixth ace of the set, and the Utes lead by one, 21 to 20. Utah's serving has just been killing the Ducks so far. Oregon 17 and five in the first set. The Utes, they're the best in the first set. Their record in every other set, a little bit lower than their season average. After the timeout, Utes serving left to right. Jardine soars it across. Vivalt receives it, Hukas backs that right side, McGee right away off the timeout, gets it off the blockers, diving play by Walgren, and then Ramirez gives a free ball over. Hukas left side, can't connect with Gonzalez. Missed time to jump, misses her outside hitter, and the Utes lead by two. That's a huge point for Utah, coming out of that timeout and taking a two-point lead, looking to keep their lead alive. Jardine. Propels it across, Feeble pops it in the air, Murphy sets left side, Gonzalez soars it across, received by Ramirez, overpass, and tapping it back home is Kara McGee. And there's Kara McGee again, showing her presence late in this first set, picking up a point for the Ducks. Let's see if Oregon can shift the momentum back in their favor. 22-21, Oregon looking at tie. Pukas. Springs it across. Johnson receives it. Walgren sets left side. Gabadlo a swing, dug out by Murphy. Pucas in the middle. McGee left-handed tap across, dug out by Ramirez. Walgren left side. Gabadlo, trouble with the hit. Completely missed the ball and then tried to hit it over with her left hand. Can't do that. Too many touches and we're even. Gabadlo just misses that ball badly and Oregon ties the game. The score is 22-22. 
Timeout, Utah. Beth Lanier in her 34th season calls timeout. Prior to last season when Utah went 15 and 16, the Utes made six straight NCAA. Anna Bukas, the transfer from Washington State, originally from Tacoma, Washington. Tees it up, off the top tape, popped in the air by Walgren. Ramirez sets left side to Badlow, off the blockers to the back line, and it goes over Mimi Collier, who is diving to save it, and the Utes after the timeout lead by one, 23-22. Awesome play there from Gabadlo rifling that ball down, and Oregon can't react in time. Utah takes the lead late in this first set. Here's Ali Olsen now. Two aces so far, Olsen. Soars it off the top tape, low reception, Gonzalez. Pukas backs at right side, Gonzalez off the blockers, gets the kill. Awesome offense there from the Ducks, tying this game up. We're getting really late in this first set and we're still tied. We're even, 23-23. Big serve here. Whoever gets the point gets set point. As Gonzalez soars it across, jumps in a diving reception. Walgren bumps set left side, tapped back by Oregon. To the right side, they give it to Vanderwerf. Blocked back, Kara McGee and Mimi Collier roofs it. And there's that Oregon defense. Set point here in set number one, 24-23. Oregon with a chance to claim the opening set here. Gabby Gonzalez with the serve. Knuckles it across. Gabadlo receives it. Walgren sets Satuala off the block. Pukas popped it up. Gonzalez tried to save it and it goes out of bounds. Utah with a much needed kill gets it 24 24. Much needed killer from Utah ties the game up 24 24. Let's see if they can pull ahead off this serve. Or even again, the fans sit down but making some noise here at Matthew Knight Arena. Emily Smith, the fifth year serving specialist, springs it across. Gonzalez receives it, Puka sets in the middle, McGee slams it off the blockers, popped in the air, Ramirez, Walgren sets in the middle, Satuala blocked, Kara McGee rises up and rejects it. Kara McGee jumps up and slams that ball down right back into Utah territory. That's a huge point for the Ducks as they lead 25-24 and have set point here. 25-24, set point, the fans rise to their feet once again. Georgia Murphy lofts it across, received by Johnson. Overpass, joust at the net, one on the side of Oregon. Lewis, cross court, whistles beforehand. Net violation, Utah and Oregon wins the opening set, 26-24. Oregon just barely able to pull ahead late in that first set, and it pays off for the Ducks as they win the first set 26-24. What an opening set. Really, really fun opening set. The Utes and Ducks doesn't get more competitive than that. Oregon wins by two, 26-24 as we played on. Oregon holds Utah to Big serving set for Utah. Oregon just one ace. Nonetheless, Kara McGee back in. It's just the same thing that we've seen from Oregon the last couple of weeks, feeding Kara McGee and it's paying off. Absolutely, Kara McGee picks up five kills in that first set. She's leading the team right now. She was just completely dominating that first set. Set number two, we switch sides. Again, Kara McGee, five kills on eight swings, 625 hitting percentage, two blocks as well. Oregon had two blocks in the set. They're both Kara McGee. Utah going to get the serve to start, serving right to left. Oregon on the left side receiving, attacking to the right. It's going to be Taiva Johnson, the freshman from Riverton, Utah, with the serve. Johnson jump serves it across. Gonzalez low reception. Pukas bumps that left side. Collier roll shot. Cross court gets the kill. And there's Mimi Collier. That's the first we're seeing of her so far, just right at the start of the second set. Let's see if she gets more involved going forward. 1-0 Oregon takes the lead in set number two, leading the match 1-0 overall. Georgia Murphy, fifth year libero from the Woodlands, Texas. Wallops it across, received by Gabadlo. Walgren sets left side, Gabadlo off the blockers, fits it in, and the Utes even it, 1-1. 
Your bad low unleashes on that ball, puts it right into the back right corner where Oregon can't get to it, and Utah ties this game up. Allie Olsen to the service line. A couple aces for her already. Propels it across. Gonzalez overpass. Tapped back by Satuala. She gets the kill. Satuala sees that ball coming over the net. She jumps up and hammers it down. Oregon can't get there in time, and now Utah is winning 2-1. 2-1 two one. Two one, Utes. Olsen. Lines it across, Collier receives it. Pucas sets in the middle of Lewis, off the blockers, popped in the air by Walgren. Olsen sets left side, Gabadlo with swing, dug out by Pucas. Murphy, bump set right side, punched across by Bacon, dug out by the Utes. Walgren got it to Satuala, who gives a free ball to Oregon. In the middle, Carson Bacon hammers the hardwood, and we're even two to two. Awesome set up from Hannah Pucas and Carson Bacon. Bombs that ball down just right on that right sideline, keeps it in bounds, and Oregon takes the point. Ducks even it up. Kate Feeble. The spark of energy for Oregon. Springs it across. Cavadler receives it. Walgren backs that right side. Vanderwerf taps it across. Dug out by Bukitz. Murphy sets. Collier catapults it to the back line. Dug out by Johnson. Walgren sets left side. Cavadler taps it and it hits. Oregon gets the point on the attack here, and it's three to two. The bad low jumps up to try and tip it over the net, and she's just a little bit short. Point goes to Oregon. They're now leading three to two. Feeble. Rifles it across. Trouble with the reception, and it's an ace yes. off the hands of Gabadlo. There's an ace for Kate Feeble, the serving specialist, making a huge play there for the Ducks as they try to go on a run. 4-2, Oregon with the lead and set number two. Number two, lines it across. Received by Johnson, Ramirez sets left side, Gabatlo blocked back, saved by the Utes, just with the net and Bacon wins it again. Carson, Oregon leads by three. Carson Bacon with back-to-back -back blocks there, making a huge impact here so far. Carson Bacon getting back in on the action. Came in first in the Pac-12 in blocks per set, 13th nationally as Feebolt lines it across, Johnson receives it, Walgren backs that right side, Vanderwerf blocked back, Carson Bacon again with the roof. There's Carson Bacon again hammering that ball down and we have a timeout by Utah as they need to talk things over. Oregon is up 6-2 to two as they've gone on a good run here to start the second set. 5-0 run for Oregon and all of a sudden the block seems to be back for the Ducks. Absolutely, a couple big blocks there for Carson Bacon, and Oregon's able to take a good lead here at the start of the second set. Oregon up to four blocks now in the match, a 5-0 run, and Carson Bacon's getting in on the action, and I like Involved in the second set, I think when you have more options on offense, it only does good for your team. Right now, Kara McGee and Morgan Lewis leading the way, five and four kills respectively for Oregon. It seems like those are the two players Oregon's been targeting here. Absolutely, especially in that first set. We saw a lot of Kara McGee and Morgan Lewis coming off last weekend. They both had some great performances, so I think they just want to keep that going. Yeah, how about Morgan Lewis on Sunday against Washington? A senior reached double figures for the eighth time this season. She had a 652 hitting percentage with 15 kills. That's 15 kills on 23 swings. A dominant performance against the Huskies. Oregon sweeping the season against the Huskies. One here at Matthew Knight Arena and then one in Seattle for the first time since 2018. As the Ducks swept the Evergreen State Schools for the first time since 2016. Big weekend for Oregon last weekend. They got the Mountain Schools this weekend before heading south to the Bay Area, Stanford and Cal on deck after this weekend. Back after the timeout, Feeble serves left to right, seen by Johnson, Walgren in the middle, Satuala to the near side, dug out by Feeble, Pucas pushes left side, Collier catapults it to the back line, off the block and gets the kill. Kate Feeble makes an absolutely remarkable diving dig to keep that ball alive, and Mimi Collier is able to capitalize, hammering that ball down, and Utah can't react. 7-2, Oregon leading here in set number two. Feeble on the near side, Palms it across off the chest of Gabadlo to the left side. Gabadlo, a swing, blocked back, saved by the Utes. Walgren backs that right side. Vanderwerf taps it across, dug out by Pukas. 
Murphy sets left side. Collier off the blockers, gets the kill to the near side of the floor. And there's Mimi Collier again coming alive in the second set. What a run for Oregon. 7-0 run for the Ducks. 8-2 the score. Ducks lead by six through 10 serves here in set number two. Oregon leads the match 1-0 overall. Debo propels it across. Diving reception to Badler. Walgren back set right side. Vanderwerf off the blockers. Saved by Gonzalez. Pukas a dump attempt. Dug out by Ramirez. Gabadlo bump sets it to the right side. Tapped over by Vanderwerf. Dug out by Murphy. Pukas pushes left side. Collier catapults it cross court and finds the floor for the kill. Mimi Collier again slams that ball down in the Utah Territory. Oregon on an 8-0 run here. And you got to say, Kate Thibault has a huge impact on this, able to consistently serve that ball across. She has an ace during this run as well, but what a run for the freshman at the line as she fires it into the net. Maybe a little bit of an announcer's jinx right there. Yeah, we shouldn't have said anything. There's a, ser <laughs> there's a service error there for Kate Thebalt. But regardless of that, a remarkable run for the Ducks as the score is now 9-3, to three, Oregon w is winning. Oregon leading by six. Here's Emily, Sm Emily Smith. Bombs it across, Murphy receives it. Pukas back set right side, Bacon on the slide, blocked back, Gonzalez saves momentarily, but it finds the floor, and the Utes get a big block from Satuala to make it nine to four. Bacon unleashed on that ball. It was a really nice block from Utah, putting that right back into Oregon territory. Ducks lead by five, nine four, set number two. Oregon leads the match, one nothing overall. Smith soars it across, received by Vivo. Yukas in the middle, Gonzalez at the attack line, pushes to the far side of the floor and goes too far to the left. Out of bounds, an attack here, and the Utes back within four. Gonzalez rockets that ball to the left side of the floor, and it just goes barely out of bounds off that left sideline. After the 8-0 run, it's a 3-0 run for Utah. Smith skies it across, too far. Oregon let it drop out of bounds, a service air for the Utes, and the Ducks get a point and possession back, 10-5. Oregon gets that ball back, and we have Mimi Collier at the service line. Let's see if they can go on another run. Mimi Collier at the service line. Rifles it across. Diving reception, Smith. Ramirez bump set left side. Gabadlo roll shot, and Murphy and Collier were converging. Miscommunication, neither of them dove, and it finds the center of the floor. Utah gets the kill off the hand of Gabadlo. Nice play there from Gabadlo, putting that right in between two players. Neither one really knew who was going for that ball, and Utah takes the point. Here's Gabadlo, the freshman from Cave Creek, Arizona. Bombs it across. V-ball pops it in the air. Bacon will set it to Gonzalez. Rips it to the back line. Dug out by Ramirez. Walgren in the middle. Satuola, a big swing. Dug out by V-ball. And then Collier gives a free ball to Utah. Walgren to the left side. Jardine blocked back by Bacon. It's another roof. Kirsten Bacon soaring up and setting it back. Another block for Carson Bacon. She is dominating in this second set. And Oregon is leading 11 to six. Anna Pukas also in on the play. Pukas, underrated at the net, came in with 54 total blocks on the season. Uh, friends and 11 to six, Oregon leads by five. Elise Ferreira, lollipops it across, an overpass on the reception. Ball back on the side of Utah. Walgren sets left side, Jardine through the trees, off a of Collier, diving play by Pukas, and then Feeble had a chance at it and then didn't see the ball and it lands out of bounds. And a Pukas gets on the ground for that ball, keeps it alive, and Oregon's unable to capitalize off the effort. Utah picks up the point. The score is now 11 to seven. Oregon is winning in the second set. Utah hitting just 041 right now. Wow. Ah! Ramirez jump serves it across, received by the ball, an overpass, and point goes to Utah. I think they said Pukas reached over. Point to the Utes, 11 to eight. Oregon leading, here's Ramirez. Rips it over, Vivalt receives it. Pukas bump set left side. Gonzalez roll shot, dug out by Bailey in the back line. Walgren left side, Jardine rockets it to the floor. The Utes within two, 11 to nine. Jardine buries that ball down, and Utah seems to be coming back here in the second set. A couple really nice plays from the Utes to keep this game alive. 7-3 run for Utah, makes it 11-9. Ramirez 
Soars it across. Gonzalez receives. Pukas pushes to Gonzalez. Rifles it to the back line and gets the kill off the hands of Bailey. Gonzalez bombs that ball to the back row. It goes off of Utah. Oregon takes the point. The score is 12 to 9. Ducks back up by three. Anna Pukas, the lefty. Lofts it across, received by Smith. Walgren backs at right side. Olsen goes off the block of McGee and gets the kill to the near side. Nice play there from Olsen, hitting that ball from the right side to the opposite side of the floor, and Oregon can't get there in time. Utah takes the point, bringing the game to within two. 12-10, Oregon leading. Walgren wallops it over. It's an ace. Collier can't receive it cleanly. There's an ace for Utah. We saw a lot of those in the first set, and there's a timeout from Oregon. They need to talk things over as Utah brings it to within one. A really nice run from the Utes to get this game closer and closer. Yeah, how about this run for Utah at the start of this set? Better as the season progresses. 12-11, Oregon leads by one. Walgren to serve. Soars it across, Collier receives it. Yukas pushes left side, Lewis lasers it off the hands of Ramirez for the kill. A statement point there for the Ducks coming out of that timeout. And they pick up a quick point and they take that two point lead right back. They're gonna wipe up some sweat on the floor. 13 to 11, Oregon leading. Another great atmosphere here at Matthew Knight Arena. Top 10 nationally in attendance. Gabby Gonzalez, jump serves it across, received from Jardine. And Ramirez to Jardine, left side, rocketed it way too far. Oregon gets a point back on the attack here, and it's 14 to 11. And coming out of that timeout, two straight points for the Ducks. They're gonna try and keep this run alive. Gonzalez soars it across. Jardine receives it. Walgren back set right side. Vanderwerf off the blockers. Popped in the air. Pukis. Murphy will bump set it to Lewis. Left side through the trees. Popped up by Ramirez. Left side. Jardine will tap it across. Dug out by Collier. Pukis back set right side. Lewis cross court. And it's a little bit too far. Misses the zone. And Utah gets a point on the attack here for Morgan Lewis. Lewis kills that ball across the court. They're saying just barely out of bounds. Utah picks up the point cutting the lead to just two for the Ducks. Here's Jardine. Lines it off the top tape, and it's an ace. Eighth ace for the Utes, and it's 14 to 13. Another ace for Utah. Their serving's been excellent so far tonight as they cut the lead to just one. They've done a great job at that. Jardine launches. Gonzalez receives. Pukas backs at right side. Lewis rockets it off the hands of Utah for the kill. 15-13. Morgan Lewis launches that ball down into Utah territory. There's nothing they can do about it. Awesome play there from Oregon's offense as they extend their lead back to two. Georgia Murphy bouncing the ball on the far side. The libero with the Ducks leading by two. Lolly pops it off the top tape. Gabadlo receives it. Walgren in the middle. Olsen slams it down. Utes back within one, 15 to 14. Olsen rockets that ball down so fast. Oregon can't do anything about it. Utah picks up the point. The score is 15 to 14. The Ducks are winning. Olsen takes a few steps to her left. Charges the line. And springs it across. Gonzalez receives. Bukas backs at right side. Lewis dink attempt. Dug out by Vanderwerf. Overpass though. Lewis gets a second try. Goes over the net. Collier receives it. Bukas to the right side. Lewis tries again. Off the block in Utah and gets the kill. Another huge play there for Morgan Lewis. Absolutely dominating in the second set. Trying to keep Oregon in the lead as we get later on. 16-14. Through 30 serves, Ducks lead by two. The ball propels it way too far. Service error for Oregon, they're sixth, and we're back within one, 16 to 15. The service errors are just killing the Ducks so far. I think that's playing a huge role in why Utah is able to stay alive and keep this game so close. 
Emily Smith for the Utes. Launches. Bebalt receives. Pukas pushes left side. Collier dink attempt dug out by Gabadlo. Ball grim pump set to Gabadlo. Left side. Tried to tap it across. Blocked back by Oregon. Paddled around by Oregon. Murphy to the left side, Collier tries, blocked back by Walgren. Swing from Pucas, and there's a whistle beforehand. They say Oregon reaches over. And Pucas missiles that ball down. That would have been a huge momentum play for the Ducks, but Utah takes the point. Now that was a heck of a hit for the setter. Nonetheless, they give the point to Utah. 16-15 as Smith serves it across, received by Murphy. Pukas left side, Collier off the blockers, diving play by Smith. Walgren bump set left side, get bad low down the near sideline, misses too far to the left. Oregon back up by one on the attack here from Utah. The bad low just barely misses off that left sideline and Oregon takes a one point lead late in this second set. And Utah right now hitting under 100, but hanging in there with Oregon in a large part due to the serves as Collier catapults it across. Johnson receives it. Walgren backs at right side. Satuala, a tap over, dug out by Murphy. Puka sets it in the middle. Collier at the attack line, a standing hit across. Dug out by Utah. Satuala in the middle, goes to the far corner and finds the floor for the kill. Satuala perfectly places that ball into the back right corner. Nothing the Ducks can do about it and Utah picks up the point, tying this game up. 17-17, doesn't get closer than that. Gabadlo, palms it across. Vibalt receives, Pukas backs that right side. Bacon blocked back, Jardine with the roof. 18-17, the Utes take the lead. Jardine rejects that ball, that's a huge play for the Utes, taking a lead in the second set. Here's Cameron Gabadla, lines it over. Murphy from with the reception. And the point goes to Utah and ace. Another nice play there from Utah, going up by two. Here's a timeout from Oregon, trying to talk things over and make a big recovery in the second set. What an ace from Utah right there. A monster block and an ace from Utah, and that's just huge. Competitive. The past three matches against the Utes. The Ducks and Utes have gone four sets each time. The bad load serves it across. Murphy receives. Pukas to the left side. Gonzalez tried to tap it across. Blocked back. Saved by Utes. Walgren to the left side. And it's a tap across from Satuola that finds the floor to give the Utes a three-point lead, 20 to 17. Great effort there from Kate Thiebaud getting on the ground, trying to keep that ball alive. But Utah comes away with another point and they take a three-point lead. Gabadla palms it across. Vibalt receives, Pukas in the middle, Bacon slams it off the blockers and gets the kill. That's a huge point for Oregon. Another great play from Carson Bacon. We've seen a lot from her in this second set. Let's see if that can shift the momentum in Oregon's favor as we get later on in this second set. Luis Ferreira to the service line. Utes leading by two, 20 to 18 here in set number two. Ferreira fires it across, Bailey receives. To the left side, Walgren to Jardine, off the blockers, saved by the Ducks. To the left side, Gonzalez pushed to the back line but misses the zone, and the Utes are back up by three, 21-18. Gonzalez gets up there and bombs that ball just a little too far out of bounds, and Utah goes right back up by three. Fans trying to get the Ducks back in it. Here's Ramirez. Rifles it across. Evolt to Pukas to the left side. Gonzalez blocked back, saved by Oregon. Murphy to Gonzalez, tries again, and rips it off of Ramirez for the kill. Gonzalez scorches that ball to the right side. A huge point for the Ducks as they cut the lead to just two late in this second set. 21-19. Utes lead by two through 40 serves. Ducks looking to come back. Couple of meaningful serves here with Hannah Pukas at the service line. This is probably who you want at the service line if you're Oregon looking to go for a run. Pukas propels it across, received by Smith. Walgren joust at the net, won by Oregon. Gonzalez rifles it off for Ramirez and gets the kill. Gabby Gonzalez again there burying that ball 
and she cuts the lead to just one. What a huge string of plays here from Gabby Gonzalez. Fifth kill now for Gabby. 21 at 20, Oregon looking to tie. Bukas, lollipops it across, Bailey receives. Logren in the middle, Olsen, a dink attempt, works the perfection. Just tapped it over and found the floor. Utes back up by two, they preserve the lead. Awesome play there from Olsen, dinking that ball over and there's nothing Oregon can do about it. She keeps that lead and she extends it to two. Walgren wallops it across. Gonzalez, an overpass on the reception, a swing from Jardine, blocked back by Pukas, but it goes over the net, out of bounds, and the Utes lead by three, 23 to 20. Two quick points for Utah. They're now leading by a field goal as we get later in the second set. They're going to try and close things out here. Victoria Walgren. Canadian catapults it into the net. Oregon gets a big sigh of relief. And they get possession back, and just trailing by two. That's a rare service error for Utah. That's a huge play for Oregon's momentum. Let's see if they can keep this set alive. Gabby Gonzalez to the service line. Knuckles it across. Bailey receives it. Walgren sets left side. Jardine rips it off the hands of Gonzalez for the kill. And it's set point Utah, 24 to 21. Timeout going to be called. No. There's just going to be a substitution. Excuse me. Jardine nukes that ball to the back row. Goes off of Oregon and Utah has set point. Jardine with the kill. And now serves it across. Gonzalez receives Pukas in the middle. McGee missiles into the floor, and the Ducks are alive, 24 to 22. And there's Kara McGee stepping up late in the second set right as her team needs her. That's a huge play for the Ducks to cut the lead to two and keep the set alive. 24-22, Georgia Murphy to the service line. Ducks need two more to stay alive here in the second set. Set point, Utah. Murphy. Lines it across, Johnson receives it, an overpass, and Oregon gets the point. They say that Walgren pushed her hands too far across the net. Bacon had a little bit of trouble playing the ball, and the Ducks back within one, staying alive, and Utah's gonna call timeout here. That's a massive play for Oregon, picking up another point, cutting the lead to just one, as they're trying to stay alive here and claw their way back into the second set. And I like the response from Oregon. Think about this, they're down 24 to 21 and who did they go to? Out. This crowd is electric. This is a crazy environment. The crowd is on their feet for the Ducks as they try to make this late second set comeback. It's not gonna be Gonzalez, it's actually gonna be Georgia Murphy with the serve. Murphy the libero who was on the far side of the floor before the timeout brings it to the near side. And lines it across. Receives it by Johnson. To the left side, Gabadlo off the blockers. Diving play, Gonzalez in the middle. Bacon taps it down. Oregon's alive, 24-24. Huge play there from Carson Bacon. Gabby Gonzalez gets on the ground to keep that ball alive. And Oregon capitalizes. We are all tied up. The score is 24-24. 3-0 run for Oregon with their backs against the wall. Utah had set point, and now we're even. We play on for the second straight set. Murphy missiles it across. Johnson pops it in the air. Walgren to the right side. Vanderwerf taps it over. Lewis got her hands on it. Puke gets to the left side. Collier catapults it off Walgren. Johnson saves it. Ramirez gives a free ball to Oregon. Gonzalez overpass. It's on the side of Utah. It's battled around, and Oregon gets the point. Oregon takes another point there. The overpass goes into Utah territory, and they were not ready for the ball to come to them. And Oregon takes another point. The score is 25 to 24. The Ducks are winning. 4-0 run for Oregon. And now the fans rise to their feet. If they weren't already standing, it is set point here in set number two. Georgia Murphy, the fifth year player. Rifles it across, Johnson receives, Walgren in the middle, Olsen to the near side of the floor, fits it in, and we're even again, 25-25. Olsen hammers that ball down to the left sideline, keeps it in bounds, and we're all tied up once again. You can hear Matthew Knight Arena, the crowd is on their feet for this close second set. 25-25, Olsen. Lines it over, Gonzalez an overpass on the reception, cleaned up and killed by Amelia Vanderwerf. 
Huge play there for Vandalwerf. That ball comes over to the net, and she rises up and bombs it right back down on the Oregon side. Nothing Oregon can do about it, and Utah takes a one-point lead. Set point again for Utah. All set. Soars it off the top tape. Oregon gets the point on the service air. That one was a tough one. It could have gone either way. It landed on the side of Utah and Oregon stays alive, 26-26. Just barely a service error there, and you can hear Matthew Knight Arena erupt as that ball lands right back on the side of Utah. Oregon takes the point. Kate Feeball. Springs it across. Johnson diving reception. Walgren left side. Gabadlo rifles it. The ball is there. Pukas bump set left side. Collier roll shot. Dug out by Ramirez. Walgren in the middle. Satuola taps it across. Pukas digs it out. Murphy bump set. Collier left side on Corks. Dug out by Johnson. Walgren left side. Gabadlo taps it across. Whistle beforehand. Oregon gets the point and it's set point. Oregon. Nice rally there from both sides. Both teams trying to stay alive here and get this second set victory in Oregon, picks up the point. They are now up 27 to 26. Set point, Ducks. Feeble rips it across. Johnson receives. Walgren sets left side. Gabadlo, strong swing. And they say off the block of Oregon, the Utes get the point. Gabadlo hits it over the back line there. They're saying it goes off of Oregon. And we're tied up once again. The score is 27 to 27. It's been such a competitive second set. Back and forth we go. We play on. Emily Smith soars it across. Vibalt receives it. Lucas pushes left side. Collier on Corks. Finds the floor for the kill. Collier hammers that ball to the back line, and it barely stays in bounds. That's a huge play for the Ducks as they take a one-point lead. The score is 28-27. Oregon is winning. Fans rise to their feet once again here at Matthew Knight Arena. Set point, 28-27. Back and forth we go. Collier catapults it across. It's an ace! A huge ace from Mimi Collier, and Oregon wins the second set. Matthew Knight Arena is on their feet. The crowd is going crazy. What a comeback for the Ducks in that second set. With their backs against the wall, 24-21. Utah had set point. The Ducks went on a 3-0 run, stayed alive, and fight their way back and win set number two, 29-27. What a set overall. Back and forth we go, but Oregon wins the second set and takes a 2-0 lead. Well, that was fun, and with that, we'll step aside for the second time today here on the Oregon Live Stream. KW Utah hitting 162. The Utes have been serving the ball excellent today, but it was just the second service ace of the match, giving Oregon the set two victory, and now they switch sides. Oregon on the right side, serving to the left. Utah on the left side, receiving an attack into the right. Gonzalez sends it across. Johnson receives it, sets in the middle. Swing from Olsen, dug out by the Ducks. Pukas in the middle, got tried to find McGee, and. They couldn't connect, a miscommunication there, and Utah leads by one. That ball is just coming down too fast. McGee rises up to get it, and it's already below her. A little miscommunication there from the Ducks, and Utah takes the first point of this third set. one nothing. Utah, here's Olsen. Lines it across, Gonzalez low reception. Pukas got it to McGee this time, off the blockers, popped in the air by Johnson. Walgren back set right side. Vanderwerf short on her swing, and Oregon gets the point on the attack there from Utah. An error there for Vanderwood gives Oregon their first point of this third set. All tied up. The Utes offense today hitting just 160. Haven't found a lot of success. Georgia Murphy bombs it across. Johnson receives it. Walgren sets left side. Gabadlo roll shot blocked back. Carson Bacon again. Carson Bacon making her presence known at the start of this third set. She had a couple blocks back in the second set, and she keeps it going here later in the game. Here's Elise Ferreira. Rather, Georgia Murphy, excuse me. Murphy lines it across, received by Johnson. Walgren in the middle. Satuola, powerful swing, dug out by Murphy. They give it to Collier, left side, who catapults it to the back line for the kill. What a dig there by Georgia Murphy. 
great reaction time, keeping that ball alive, and Mimi Collier hammers that ball to the back right corner. Oregon takes the point. The score is now three to one. It was a phenomenal dig for Georgia Murphy. Up to now eight digs on the afternoon. Three to one, Oregon leading. Murphy missiles it over, a seed by Johnson. It's heading to the left side of the net. Somehow Utah got it across. Collier pushes it across. And Ramirez and Johnson tried to keep it up. They could not. Oregon leads four to one. Smart play there from Mimi Collier, hitting that ball all the way to the left side where no one can get it on Utah. And Oregon takes another point here. Oregon seems to have had a really good start to each set so far. It's been the middle of the sets where Utah has found their success as Murphy tees it up off the top tape, diving reception, Satualo a swing, dug out by Murphy to the left side. Collier dink attempt, almost worked out. Walgren an overpass on her dig. Puke is left side, Collier off the chest of Johnson and it drops to the floor. Oregon gets the point. Collier crushes that ball off of Johnson and none of the players on Utah's team can get there. That ball lands kind of awkwardly close to the net, and Oregon takes the point. 5-1 Oregon. Georgia Murphy. Jump serves it across. Too far. Utah gets the point on the service error for Oregon. They're seventh of the match, and it's 5-2. The service error there for Georgia Murphy. And Utah picks up their second point of this third set. Let's see if Utah can go on a run of their own and get back into it. Emily Smith, Park City native, propels it across. Oh, Gonzalez receives it. Pucas backs it. Lewis launches it to the floor. Six to two, Oregon. Quick response there from the Ducks. Morgan Lewis hammers that ball down. And Utah can't get there in time. That's another point for the Ducks. The score is now six to two. Here's Kate Thibault on the far side of the floor. Freshman, Wally pops it across, received by Smith. Walgren sets left side, Gabadlo to the strong side. Dug out by Thibault. Collier falling backwards, got it across. Ramirez digs it out. Walgren to the left side, Gabadlo roll shot. Dug out by Murphy, Pukas back set. Bacon blocked back, saved by Gonzalez. Pucas left side, Collier clobbers, dug out by Ramirez. Walgren sets left side, Gabadlo blocked back. First city Bacon and Anna Pucas in on the play. After the long rally, it's Carson Bacon jumping up and hammering that ball right back down that takes the point for Oregon as they go up seven to two in his third set. Carson Bacon coming off a 10 block performance against Washington, now up to five as Feeball tees it up, received by Smith. Walgren, back set right side. Satuala misses the line to the right side. Out of bounds it goes. And for the second straight set, Oregon leads eight to two. Timeout Utah as the Ducks go on a 7-1 run. Just like that. Oregon right now leading by six. Eight to two in set number three. Coming off the timeout. Utah on the left side of the net. Oregon on the right side of the net. The Ducks have the serve with Kate Feeble. Leading a 3-0 run. Feeble. Skies it across. Ramirez receives it. Walgren, a dump attempt dug out by Feeble. Bukas pushes left side. Collier taps it across. Diving play. It's over the net. Paddled around by Oregon. And Gonzalez gives a free ball over. Satuola to Walgren. Back to Satuola on the slide. Dug out by Gonzalez. Bukas left side. Collier clobbers off the hands of Ramirez. Out of bounds. Mimi Collier with the kill. Her ninth. And it's nine to two, Oregon. Awesome rally there for the Ducks. Able to take the point coming out of the timeout, keeping their rally alive. They're gonna wipe up some water on the floor. But Oregon continues to run a 4-0 run now. I like the whiteout here at Matthew Dad Arena. I think it's a cool vibe. Absolutely, if you look at that student section, everyone's wearing white. I mean, if you look across the court, a lot of fans are wearing white. Feeble lines it over. Smith receives, Walgren sets, Satuola blocked back. And again, it's Carson Bacon rising up and rejecting it. Another block there for Carson Bacon. That's her sixth of this match. She's just been completely dominant. All ducks here in set number three, 10-2 the score. 
friends, end of era Arjun. Yeah, SS College jile M Com final year student. Over received by Johnson Walker and left side to Badlo. Dug out by Murphy to the right side and miscommunication as Carson Bacon couldn't connect with the set from Hannah Pukas and it's 10 to three. A little miscommunication there from Oregon's offense. Utah picks up the point. Now Oregon just leading by a touchdown. 10 to three, Utah gets the serve back where they've been so excellent today. Nine aces as it's lined across by Gavadlo. Pukas to the left side, Collier. Uncorks and finds the floor. Mimi Collier's really come alive as we progress through this game. It seems like every set she gets more and more aggressive as there she just bombs that ball down into Utah territory. Collier takes a step to her right, serving from the middle of the floor. Palms it off the top, take diving reception from Bailey. Walgren bumps that left side, Jardine, a far side of the hit. Too far, out of bounds. Couldn't connect with the blockers, 12-3, Oregon leading. Oregon's absolutely killing it so far in this third set. Their defense has just completely shut down Utah, who's hitting negative 417. It's an insane number right now. Collier. Kind of pokes it across. Bailey, an overpass. Gonzalez ripped it, blocked back, paddled around, and it falls on the side of Oregon. Gonzalez really tried to bomb that ball down. It lands on Oregon's side, and Utah takes their fourth point. 12 4, lead back to eight. Here's Vanessa Ramirez. Six in the pack, 12 in digs for set as the libero. It was third last season, launches it over. Three ball, a low reception. Pukas bump sets it in the middle. Collier off the blockers. And beforehand, they whistle it and say, I think that Oregon reached over. And that's another point there for Utah. The score is now 12 to five, Oregon's in the lead. Here's Ramirez. Rifles it across, too far. Oregon gets a point on the service error from Utah, and it's 13 to five. Service error there from Utah gives the ball right back to Oregon. Thirteen to five. Elise Ferreira from Liberty High School in Bakersfield. Lines it across, and it's an ace off the head of Smith. A huge ace there for Elise Ferreira in Oregon as they go up 14 to five in this third set. Nine point Oregon lead. How about this third set for the Ducks? Ferreira off the top tape. Sliding reception, Smith. Walgren left side, Jardine, a powerful hit. An overpass on the dig from Thiebaud. Ramirez to Walgren, right side. Olsen cross court off the block, gets the kill. And that's Utah's first kill in this third set. And the score is 14 to six. Through 20 serves, Oregon leads by eight. And a dominant third set for the Ducks. First kill of the set for Utah is Walgren. Wallops it across. Gonzalez receives it. Pukas in the middle. Collier a swing. Dug out by Ramirez. Walgren left side. Jardine dig attempt. Dug out by Pukas. Murphy bump set left side. Gonzalez rockets it to the back line and gets the kill off the hands of a diving Bailey. Gonzalez perfectly places that ball in the back left corner. Utah tries to get there, but they can't keep that ball alive. And Oregon takes another point. The score is now 15 to 6. 15-6, nine point Oregon lead. Looking to wrap it up here in set three and get the sweep against Utah. Over here. Anna Pukas lofts it across, received by Johnson to the right side. Jardine off the blockers, popped in the air by Collier. Back set by Pukas, right side. Lewis blocked back, saved by McGee. Pukas tries to Gonzalez this time, dug out by Voss. To the right side, tapped across by Jardine. Lucas in the middle, McGee slams it, but it goes too far to the far side. Out of bounds on the attack there for Karen McGee, a rare miss for McGee. Her second, and it's now 15 to seven, and Oregon's gonna challenge off the block. Karen McGee nukes that ball down out of bounds, and they're gonna, Oregon is saying that that's off the block from Utah. 
we're going to see what happens with this challenge. We're looking at the replay here, and it looked like it might have gone. It's tough from the angle that we're seeing here. Matt Homer wasted no time, immediately picked up the challenge card. This will probably be a better look here on the live stream. Tried to connect with Olsen. It's going to be a tough decision. Might have barely gone off your left hand, but it's hard to tell. By the way, Oregon doing a great job holding Utah to an 076 hitting percentage. What have you seen from the Ducks defense today? Oregon's defense has just been insanely good today. Utah has no answer. Every time Utah tries to make an attack on offense, Oregon's right there. And Utah just has no answer for what Oregon's done on defense today. And Oregon's done a great job defending Laura Jardine, who's been the leader for Utah, leads the team in kills per set, 19th in the Pac-12 with 2.87 kills per set. She just has five right now. Yeah, Jardine, that, that seems to be the player that Utah goes to a lot. And Oregon's just completely shut her down so far today. And that's got to be a big reason why Oregon's just been dominant. Still waiting for Oregon on the replay. Matt Omer, one for one on his challenges so far. As it stands, 15 to seven. It's reversed 16 to six. So it could go from an eight point to a 10 point swing. Gonna get the ruling here. After replay, they give the point to Utah. Utah keeps their point there and the score remains 15 to seven. So it remains 15 to seven. Oregon with an eight point lead. Utah has some work to do. The Ducks 10 points away from victory. Jardine jump serves it into the net. Oregon gets the point back and it's 16 to seven. Just as it seems like Utah might take a little momentum we have a service error from the Utes, and Oregon takes that point right back. Gabby Gonzalez rips it across, and it's out of bounds off the hands of Gabadlo. Gabby Gonzalez picks up the Ducks' fourth ace, and it's 17-7. to seven. That's a huge ace for the Ducks, and they're just completely dominating this third set. They're up by 10 points. Gonzalez soars it across, and it's almost another race before Utah paddles it across and gets it to Oregon. Fucus back set right side, Lewis through the trees, dug out by Ramirez. Hammond sets left side, Gabadlo through the trees, paddled around by Oregon, call your tries, blocked back, Murphy pops it up, Fucus in the middle, McGee hammers the hardwood. McGee just belts that ball down to the left side. Oregon was able to kind of recover and get into their offense. Pucas sets her up perfectly right down the middle, and McGee just nukes that ball down. Oregon is up 18 to seven in this third set. Gonzalez lofts it across, received by Gabadlo. Hammond in the middle, sets it for Olsen, dug out by Pucas. Murphy sets right side, Lewis off the trees, falls to the floor, Oregon leads 19 to seven. That's an awesome dig there from Hannah Pucas, getting all the way, her hands on the ground to keep that ball up in the air. And Oregon takes another point there, just completely killing Utah in this third set. 19 to seven, Oregon leads by 12. Gonzalez, Flowey pops it across, diving reception from Gabadlo. Hammond Buck sets it to Voss on the right side. Battled around by Oregon, and Lewis was sliding into the scores table and sent the ball about 12 rows into the stands. It was a great effort there from Oregon trying to keep that ball alive. But that ball goes all the way up to the nosebleeds just about. 19 to eight, Oregon leads by 11. Here's Ali Olsen, bombs it across, received by Gonzalez, Pucas backs at right side, Lewis lasers it off the blockers for the kill. Lewis belts that ball and it goes off of Utah. That's another point for Oregon. They're now leading 20 to eight in the third set. We've seen close sets in one and two, and Oregon just completely taking this game away. All the momentum shifted to Oregon when they came back at the end of the second set. 
Murphy missiles it across. Ramirez receives. Hammond sets in the middle. Satuala blocked back. Ramirez keeps it alive. Tapped across. Diving play by Murphy. Bukas backs that right side. Lewis blocked back. And this time, Utah gets the blockers in and gets the block to get the point. Great rally there from both teams. Both teams showing a lot of effort. Murphy gets on the ground to keep that ball alive, but Utah is able to slam it down and take the point. Big block for the Utes. Just their fifth in the match, 20 to nine. Oregon leads by 11. Voss. Soars it across. Gonzalez diving reception. Pucas left side. Collier to the near side of the floor. Misses the zone. And the Utes are within 10, 20 to 10. Collier rockets that ball down. Just barely out of bounds off that left sideline. And Utah takes another point, cutting the lead to 10. Rana Voss, the transfer from the University of 20 in the Netherlands. Jump serves it across. Murphy in the middle. Bukas. Finds Carson Bacon, who rockets it to the floor, 21 to 10. Puka sets that ball right up the middle, and Carson Bacon unloads on the ball, hammering it down, and Oregon's back up to an 11 point lead late in this first set, third set. Kate Thiebault lines it over. Received by Ramirez, Hammond sets left side, Gabadlo off the block of Bacon to the near side of the floor, out of bounds, 21 to 11. Almost another block there for Bacon, but that ball stays on Oregon's side of the net, flying out of bounds off the left sideline. On the near side, Cameron Gabadlo. Rifles it over. Murphy receives. Bukas pushes left side. Collier clobbers it off the hands of Ramirez into the back of the gym. What a powerful hit from Mimi Collier. Mimi Collier scorches that ball down, and the Ducks are up 22 to 11. Absolutely dominating this third set against Utah. Utah's hitting 092 in the match, negative 125 here in the third set. Oregon doubling up the Utes right now, 22 to 11. Collier sends it into the net. A service error from Amy Collier gives the Utes possession back 22 to 12. Utah's got a lot of work to do if they want to keep this game alive. Down by 10 here late in the third set. Ramirez rips it over. Murphy receives it. Pucas back set. Bacon on the slide. Hammers the hardwood and it's 23-12. Ducks two points away from victory. And there's Carson Bacon pounding that ball down in the Utah territory. Oregon now leads 23 to 12. And we've got a timeout from Utah as they try to stay alive and prevent Oregon from taking the sweep. And at the beginning of the match. Police Fur at the service line, 23 to 12. Soars it across, received by Smith. Hammond backs that right side. Olsen off the blockers, popped to the air. Collier, Lucas pushes in the middle. Collier soars it across to the far sideline and finds the floor. Mimi Collier unleashes on that ball after 12th kill. And coming out of that timeout, the Ducks keep all the momentum as they have match point. Match point, 24 to 12, Elise Ferreira. Rifles it across, popped in the air, Bailey. Ramirez sets left side, Jardine blocked back by Kara McGee. Oregon sweeps Utah. They get it done in three and win the third set in dominant fashion, 25 to 12. Kara McGee takes the first point of the match and the last point of the match, able to close the game for the Ducks as they take a clean sweep over Utah. Two close sets to get the game started and then Oregon just completely dominates in this final set to win it in three. Third block of the match for Kara McGee as Oregon sweeps the 